Hello students. I hope you all are doing fine. Today we'll start science lesson. Today let's talk about plants. You have already learned that plants are living things. They use water, air, mineral salts and sunlight to grow. A plant consists of five main parts. They are root, stem, leaf, flower and fruit. Each part plays an important role. Let us learn about different parts of a plant. First one, root. Roots of a plant mostly grow under the soil. Roots hold plant firmly in the soil. They absorb water and minerals from the soil and transport these up to the stem of the plant. There are two types of roots. Tap root and fibrous root. Tap roots have a main or central root on which smaller thinner roots arise laterally. Go through the first figure that picks tap root. Most trees and vegetables like radish and carrot have tap root. Fibrous roots have thin branching roots from the base of the stem. Most of the grasses, banana, onion, fern and coconut have fibrous root. Go through the second figure which indicates fibrous roots. The stem grows upwards from the roots. It helps the plant to stand erect and carries water and nutrients from the roots to the other parts of the plant. Flowers, fruits and leaves grow on the stem. Some of the stems are modified to store food. For example, sugarcane, potato, ginger and onion are the stems that we eat. Let's learn about leaf. Leaves are the most important part of a plant. They contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. Leaves prepare food for the whole plant. So, they are called food factory, food factory of the plant. In some plants, the leaves are modified in order to store food. Mint, coriander, spinach, celery are some leaves that we eat. A flower is the most attractive and colorful part of a plant. They are of different shapes, sizes and colors. We often see butterflies, bees and other insects visiting flowers. They are attracted by the bright color and pleasant scent of the flower. The last part of the plant that we are going to study today is fruit. 
Fruits are the juicy and fleshy part of a plant. They have seeds inside them. A flower changes into a fruit. Dear students, eat plenty of fruits. They protect us from diseases. So, that's it for today's class. Go through all the concepts again and answer all the questions which are asked in the worksheet. I hope you all understood the concept. Thank you.